barbecue. Uh, hopefully next year too. Yeah. Counts in. Absolutely. Next year, uh, the event next year is going to be June 19th through the 25th. Uh, next John has bought guardian bells for Dan. Dan says they don't have them. But if you put this on the bottom, you buy it. The legend is that all the bad things in the road that will break your oil filter, or will give you a flat tire, will tear up your motor, or cause you to wreck, will get stuck right in here. <laughs> I, I understand now that we're going to have a lot of popcorn in the Israeli. Right, that's <laughs> we're going to call it. And, and parsley. But then the ring in it makes them mad and they fall out. But the pot breaking up, it scares them, all these little gremlins. The power of a gremlin bell is your price to pay if they give it to you by a friend. We want you to know that the power of this gremlin bell is given to you by these friends. So you're not going to have any problems with your body anymore. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see their car when they pull up, we know where all the gifts come from. So I'm just saying that. It's a major investment by these people here for everybody here and for those kids. And John wants to send you a new guardian bell from him. And appreciation for your work. Let you know that. Hold it up, by All these friends. <laughs> in the last three years, I've grown no shorty. And I love him to death for all the work he does for the kids up here catching all those fish. John wants you to have a new car and best protect your body and protect you from any problems on these not so perfect roads up here. <laughs> but there's a problem. We're not going to have a fish fry next year because Shorty has been catching little fish. <laughs> if he would catch bigger fish, he wouldn't have to catch so many and he wouldn't have to be out there so long. So, I found out that your problem is not the fish, but the bait. You need to use a different bait. <laughs> <laughs>
80 people or so. It was just shy of probably 200 people last year. And the, and the year before that, it was pretty, pretty similar. Uh, this year, like I say, we had, we're pushing maybe 100, so we're just going to say we had half the amount of people that we had last year. Last year, we, we made for the kids here in Bryson City, we, uh, we just about came up with about $4,000 last year, uh, which I thought was really great. And I might add also that here in Bryson City, we, there's very few groups that comes into this town on a large scale like, like we are. But we're the only group that, excuse me. Take a breath. We raised $4,864. Wow.